I feel like I need to do a quick video this morning and keep everybody up to date. Uh, I've been getting a lot of emails. Uh, some of you are concerned that I'm okay. I'm fine. Uh, I've been working. I got a chance to pick up some extra work, which there's a, I've only got three more weeks, and then I don't work all summer. Uh, so I need to work as much as possible, and then I'm, as you can see, I'm doing charts. Uh, the last two videos I did last week, six days ago, and then just charts. I'm trying to get caught up. Uh, Y'all please be patient with me. I am slowly but surely getting there. Uh, I do want to touch base on some Stellarium. So let me pause this and jump right into it. Alright, here we are in Stellarium. It is May the 7th, 2019, right before 5 a.m. Uh, today is considered an auspicious day because the sun and the moon are in their exalted positions in the same degrees. Uh, just a few hours ago, we had the moon and what we call the evil eye. Uh, big ritual magic went down uh, uh, yesterday, uh, right before noon. Let's pop us back to now. Uh, Mars, also in Taurus. Mercury getting ready to move into Aries out of its debilitation. That's going to be very welcome there. Uh, Mercury has not been kind to me while it's been in its debilitation, retrograde, combust. Jupiter's retrograde. Saturn's retrograde. Pluto is retrograde. Uh, Jupiter, people are thinking outside of the box. Uh, Saturn retrograde. Those in authority are going to start taking advantage uh, the ones in uh, the superior over the inferior. Be careful of people in authority over you. Watch your back. Especially if those of you born with a Saturn retrograde. Venus is exalted. She's just as happy as she can be right now. Uh, lucky in love. Good heart right now. Everybody's doing great there. Mercury coming out of his debilitation tomorrow. We're almost there, and we won't have to deal with this anymore. I can even feel it lifting. All right, that's our update on what's going on. Um, pay attention to your charts and your crosses uh, that affect you. Jupiter on the fixed cross. Uh, Pluto with Saturn retrograde on the mutable cross. Venus and Mercury on the mutable cross. Mercury moving to the cardinal with Uranus and the sun. And the moon and Mars will be moving also to the mutable cross. Mars is going to, when Mars moves into Gemini, it's going to get pretty bad because we're going to have Mars with the south node of the moon in Gemini and opposite Saturn with the north node of the moon in Sagittarius. And Saturn and Mars are pretty much malefic towards each other. Uh, so it's not going to be, it's going to be quite explosive. Uh, my best advice, keep your emotions in check. Do not react. Uh, respond in kindness. And uh, I'll be back. I've got uh, things to do this week. I'm trying to find me a place to stay. I've got one to go look at today. Hopefully, I'll be out of this place. Uh, my internet's just on and off, on and off, on and off. It's driving me crazy. I've had a leak in my bathroom for six days now. And uh, you you can hear the water running through the pipes. It's so bad. They won't come fix it. They, they still haven't opened the pool. The washers and dryers don't work. They're running this place into the ground. Uh, it's time for me to get out while the getting's good. So I'm going to be doing that a couple of days this week. Be patient with me. Um, I'm kind of suffering from sleep deprivation. I've worked all week, extra hours, doing charts that are five hours plus per chart, and uh, then trying to take care of Kelly. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty tired, but I've got too much to do to slow down now. Uh, just bear with me. I'll make videos if I feel the need that there's something you need to know about. Otherwise, I'm getting caught up on charts. Y'all have a, a good day, and go out and be the kindness.